Hi friends, this is Kara Renee with Be Reborn Art and Healing. Hello! I thought I would take a minute and introduce myself uh, face to face, so to speak. Um, I don't put myself on camera, so this is a, this is a stretch, but I thought I would, I'm, I'm going to um, show you a video of how to create a watercolor disbound journal so I thought I would just chat a minute before I do that uh, when I'm done I'll turn the camera around and I'll go ahead and record a quick video on how to make a disbound journal using the 365 punch which is the popular punch for the disbound journals that are sold in stores so um, they're really nice because you can take the pages out you can work on them dry them etc um, and then you can put them back in um, which also means that if you don't like them, you can um, do something else with them, use them. I Sometimes I'll do a watercolor um, piece and I don't like it and I'll cut it up into bookmarks. Um, it's just really hard to do that when you're, um, when you're working in a bound journal. So I really like the versatility and the freedom of creating in um, a disbound journal. So I'll be showing you how to do that. It's super easy. Um, but I thought since I'm sitting in front of you that I would give you just a quick little introduction to me. Um, I um, have always been artistic um, ever since I can remember probably um, my early married years, you know, my early 20s. Um, and that kind of um, just evolved um, into expressive art as I worked through my healing journey. Um, I came from a background um, with severe trauma um, and it has taken me, uh, it took me 30 years to uh, work through that completely. Um, I'm now um, done um, in terms of the professional aspect of my, of my healing. Obviously, um, as people living in this broken world, um, trying to walk in relationship, trying to um, just make good decisions, exercise good boundaries, all of those things that we struggle with as people. Um, now those are the things that I'm dealing with. It's like, okay, how, how do I, how do I navigate this new place? And how do I, um, how do I interact with people? How do I relate? How do I, um, extend grace? How do I, you know, how do I accept my feelings? How do I live in the moment? All of that stuff. Um, but the hardest part of my work is done. And, um, and so my art evolved through that process. Um, obviously, um, a lot of, lo a lot, a lot of dark times, really dark times. Um, but God is faithful. Um, and I was able to, um, maintain that journey and push through that journey. Thanks to, um, Jesus, my God, <laughs> my friend, um, uh, my husband, my family, obviously, um, and, uh, and now when I create art, um, it's not coming from a really dark place. It's coming more from a place of, um, the issues like faith and trust and courage and perseverance and all the things that I was walking out in my life. Um, I'm now finding that I'm creating art out of that place. And, um, my hope and my goal and my heart is to share art that, inspires others to um, continue with whatever journey they're on. We're all on a journey, our, and our journeys are all different. Um, but when you come from a traumatic background or you come from a place where a lot of those fundamental things got skewed, um, it can be hard to reconcile that, and it can be hard to express that, and it can be hard to talk about those things. And so um, for many, many years, I... Um, I was, I tended to be the person in the room who said the thing that nobody wanted to say, talked about the hard thing, um, challenged the hard question, um, broached the, the hard subject. That's just kind of who I was when I entered my journey, my therapy journey. Um, I wanted to know what my life was about. And so I learned a lot as I went through that and I learned a lot about, um, being true to myself, getting to know myself, um, loving myself, um, you know, kind of, um, 
just learning to accept the different places that I am and that I've been. And I, I really want, through my art and through my teaching, I want people to be able to glean some hope, um, some courage. I'm a firm believer that sometimes um, as people we lend courage to other people when they don't have it for themselves. We lend encouragement. We lend hope. Um, and sometimes that can help somebody carry through to the next day or the next step or the just whatever the next thing is. And so um, my art comes from that place. It comes from that heart place of I just want people to know that they're not alone. I want people to um, know that there's somebody out there talking about it. There's somebody that um, that knows what it's like to be in a dark place and come out on the other side. Um, I wish in my journey that I had someone who had gone before me, who could have walked with me, who could have shared with me, who could have um, told me that it was going to be okay, that it was, really was going to be okay, and that it was going to be worth it. And I can tell you from the bottom of my heart that um, the journey is worth it. Um, anytime that we pursue truth and healing um, and healthy boundaries and owning our story and owning our mistakes and being present in our lives is huge. Um, and so now um, I get to create art that is um, that is light, that is um, not to say that there won't be things that are that I create that are going to be a little heavier because um, I still struggle and I still have things come up where I'm I'm like how do I express this how can I put this out in art form um, in a way that's healing and in a way that releases um, intense emotions for me it's mostly leftover emotions it's the kind of the straggly little pieces um, the huge stuff is 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 pretty resolved but so that's just a little bit about me. Um, I I live here in uh, Washington State, out in the country. Um, I uh, have seven grandchildren. I'm a Grammy. Um, my husband and I have been married for 37 years. Um, he has been my knight in shining armor. Um, he um, has stood by me. He has loved me. He has persevered. He has hoped for me. He has never, never, never given up on me. And I am so grateful. And so now I get a chance to live my life fully present with him, fully present with my kids and my grandkids, um, my job, the people that I interact with, um, and I get to teach. Um, and that's just the love of my, of my heart is to be able to take what, what I know, what I've learned, what I've experienced and put it out there to other people so that they know that there's a there's a listening ear there's a friend there's somebody that can say I know what you're going through I know what it feels like and um, I want to be that person so um, I created my YouTube channel because I really needed an outlet I, I I can't it's hard for me to do workshops because I don't have really a venue to do that I've done some through a nonprofit um, organization here in Vancouver, in the Vancouver area. Um, but I've outgrown that. And so now, um, I don't really have a place to, to conduct those, those workshops, um, waiting for those doors to open. Um, but creating videos on YouTube is, is my heart because I love to create. I, um, don't necessarily like looking at myself at the camera like I'm doing now. Um, but I don't mind hearing my voice and I don't mind, um, showing my process, showing how I struggle, showing how I fix a mistake, um, sharing bits of bits and pieces of my story in a way that is not too exposing, but enough that people can kind of go, aha, there's a sister that knows what it's like to um, work through hard things. So that's really my passion. Um, and so, you know, my encouragement to you before I flip the camera around and, um, and show you how to make this journal is that, um, you know, if you haven't liked and subscribed to my channel, um, I would, I would just love it if you would join me here. I would love it if, if you could, um, 
hit those buttons because um, the way it works with YouTube is that um, YouTube is is SEO driven and so they're they're going to bring up recommended videos to a particular person based on um, based on how popular that that topic is or how popular that video is or how much um, sorry how much um, exposure it's had and so the more people that actually like the video or subscribe to the channel um, it it um, allows me to be seen on YouTube in a different way and that is really my heart I'm not uh, I'm not in this to make money I'm not in this to replace my employment I just want to be able to have people see my art I want them to be able to see my process um, and for me, you know, just a little bit of a little bit more of the story. Um, it's a redeeming thing for me. So I kind of made a commitment. Well, I didn't kind of. I made a commitment 30 years ago that I would do my healing journey. I would um, do whatever it took to get well, to get healthy, to heal um, from the memories and and all that that is about. Um, but I wanted to be able to get to one day where it would I would be able to share that with other people and it would make a difference in other people's lives so that's my heart um, I uh, it's I don't um, I, I try to be very careful about it not being about me 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 it really is about I want to pour out from my my life my experience my my pain my joy my struggle all of that stuff um, and teach you guys something, um, get to know you, interact with you, and so when you see a video, you can feel free to comment. Um, I always will respond back quickly, um, and I just really appreciate your support. I appreciate that you that you watch the channel, that you watch the videos, and um, and I just hope that you enjoy it. So, um, without any further ado, I think I'll go ahead and um, stop yakking. And, um, and turn the camera around. And I thank you so much for listening. And I hope that you enjoy the video and that you'll come back and you'll watch what's coming up next. Thanks. See you soon.